There we go. Right there. Perfect sport. Bam. Yep. Right. And Eric. Whoa. Bam. Right in. Right in. Go. <laughs> there we go. Hey folks, let me tell you about the Savage Gear 4 play lure family. The lure family consists of the 19 centimeter swim and jerk. The swim and jerk model is without a bill or without a lip, so it's an actual swim bait. And it swims with the most amazing S curve action. And when you make a spin stop, it automatically looks over its shoulder. That's what makes the swim and jerk really brilliant. The swim and jerk is a brilliant lure to fish over the shallows and you can wake it home just under the surface. Uh, fish is down to about, I'd say 1 to 1.5 meters depending on the speed of the retrieve or the trolling. The next one in the family is the lip lure. Looks just like the swim and jerk but it has a, a bill, relatively short and small bill and that makes it side flashing. So the foreplay lip lure has a great side flash combined with a more slim S-curve action and can be deadly for spinning and casting. And again, when you make the spin stop, the lure turns and looks over its shoulder. And the lure here will fish down to about 2, 2.5 meters, depending on uh, speed of retrieve and how high you hold your rod tip. This is a brilliant lure. Then we have the low rider. The low rider is more like a crankbait. So the low rider has a more tight wobbling action, but also very aggressive side flash. And again, this one floats, whereas the two others are so slow sink to suspending. So this one on a spin stop will slowly rise up in the water. And this one you can crank down to about three and a half, four meters. Uh, but you can also fish it relatively shallow if you make shorter casts and keep your rod tip high. So given the three different models in the family, you can basically fish many different variations uh, and lakes. This one, you can fish the swim and jerk, you can fish all the way into the shallows. The lip lure, I use it when I fish where there's a little more drop off going from the shallows out on the shelves where the water drops from about 1.5 meters to 3 meters. That's where a lot of the big pikes will be holding right on that edge. Here the lip lure is really brilliant. And the low rider can be really, really deadly for trolling but also for casting over a little bit deeper water down to 3, 4, 5 or even 6 meters of water and it's just amazing for pelagic pike on the trolling. So. My absolute favorite for big pike, 25 cm swim bait. So the 25 cm swim bait, as you can see, it's, it's a real swim bait, so it will work like the 19 centimeter swim and jerk, but this one is a slow sink, so it fishes a little bit deeper, and the S-curve swimming action is wider, has a big sliding, you know, big rolling S-curve action, and it's really, really deadly on the big pike. You can attach it in the nose, or you can attach it for a more tight uh, and very erratic action on the top of the head. This we sometimes use when we fish it right behind the boat uh, or right behind the paravan to get this sort of erratic S-curve action. So that's the big swim bait. So the smaller size, Minnie's favorite for all-round pike fishing is the 13 centimeter foreplay and again it comes in the swim and the jerk, the lip lure and the low rider version. So again you have all three movement patterns. Uh, the swim and the jerk you can fish all the way into about a foot of water and you can wake it home really easy. The lip lure again down to about a meter of water and then the 13 centimeter low rider you can fish that down to about two and a half three meters of water. Recently, we added a microbait to the foreplay family, and it's got to be one of the smallest swim baits ever made. Amazing S curve action. This is the tiniest little 9.5 centimeter swim and jerk, and it also comes in a low rider. And the low rider, as you can see, beautiful made. Both of them you can fish very, very slow. You can twitch them, and they're deadly on big perch and on pike. We're going to use them today. The four sizes basically covers. A lot of your fishing, whether big pike, pike, 
pike perch sander and this one even for trout but the small one here is really deadly on the big perch. I'm going to show you today how to use these different foreplay lures. Uh, this lake is a relatively small lake. It's a shallow lake uh, that runs from about two feet of water and down to about I'd say eight or ten feet of water in the other end. So it gradually gets deeper and deeper and that's where these lures come in perfect because I can work them as we drift down in the lake. If you take a look on this lake right here where we are now, we're in the shallow end and what we're going to do, we're going to drift with the wind down uh, over the shallow area where it gradually gets deeper and deeper and deeper. And the reason why I've got all these colors here um, is there's never one color that will work under all conditions. And as you can see, I'm using everything from uh, imitating colors to aggressive colors to ultra imitation colors. And I will keep changing my lure until I find exactly that lure pattern or that lure color that will be it for today. And during the day, that may even change. So a lot of people ask me, well, you've got eight different lure colors in your box. Isn't that a little uh, too many? But actually, it's not. I I've got all of this lined up and all of these colors are made for a specific purpose. So to find out more about Savage Gear lures in general or Savage Gear foreplay lures specifically, you can check our catalog, you can get the printed version at your local Savage Gear dealer or you can go to www.savagegear.com and here you can also download the, the catalog and find all specification, replacement hooks, etc. for the different lures. So let's go out and test the four play lures and find out which color is the one for the day. So retrieving the 19 centimeter swim and jerk is basically just a steady retrieve and once in a while I just make a spin stop so that the lure turns the side. And here it's very shallow here, so I'm fishing about it's about a meter's depth. Do a little bit more, so I, I retrieve relatively fast. Right there. Okay, so definitely the swim and jerk seem to be the one. All right, fish on. Wow, look how deep he took that. All right, first fish of the day. It's not a monster, there's a beautiful fish. Just see how deep he took that foreplay. Bam! So fishing this shallow here, I've positioned the boat, so I drift with the wind not too fast. Drift with the wind down over the shallow area that I want to search. And the great thing about the Swim and Jerk 19 centimeter is that I can fish it so shallow. Just by putting some speed on, I can actually fish this lure in about 10 centimeters of water. Let me just show you how I can wake that home. Follow that lure. So basically that just with the right retrieve speed and the angle of the rod, that works just under the surface like that. There we go, right there, just on that spin stop. Absolutely perfect. So that was exactly the key. Had that steady retrieve, and then I just made that small spin stop. Right there. Okay, so the foreplay swimming jerk. Nails one more. Perfect. Just gonna chin that out. So that's what we came for. Perfect sport. Four place women jerk, 19 centimeter, bam! Yep. Right, fish on. Fish on. Fish on. So that was the four play swim and jerk. Got nailed right behind the boat. Right on the four play. Swim and jerk. Pigment Eric. Whoa. 19 centimeter. Swim and jerk. Bam. So I'm going to try the big 25 cm swim and jerk on a seven foot big lure and jerk. A bait caster rod. So I'm just going to do the same as I just did with the 19 centimeter. I'm just going to fish this one a little bit more aggressively. 
and then let's see if we get a bigger fish to come and take the big lure. Let's do it. So I retrieved that one also with a steady retrieve. Pull the rod to the side and make a spin stop like that. Just steady retrieve, steady retrieve, steady retrieve, pull, slack line. Just like so. What happens is it makes a very, very big S-curve motion in the water and then it turns the whole side to a possible follow fish. It's quite a big flash on the 25 centimeter. Come on. So let's try the 13 centimeter lip lure. Just work that home over the shallows with some twitch and some jerks. Let's see how that works with a smaller size bait. Just twitch a little bit, twitch, twitch, steady retrieve. Spin stop. Twitch, twitch. Right in. I'm in. Okay. So the small, small lip lure. There you go. Yep, right there. Bam. Right there, right there, right there. Got it. One more time. Four plays, swimming jerk. Just got nailed. Right on. Oh. So this one seems to have been already spawning. Beautiful fish. What a strike. Bam. There we go. Just fell them right there. Whoa, this is a good fish, guys. We're into a good fish here. Yeah. Okay, let's see. He just might come tail walking out there. Oh, yes. Just going to keep us on straight line here. Yeah, it's a good fish. Definitely. That's a good one. Tell you what. That is one nice fish right there. Four place women jerk. Right behind the boat. And bam. Let me see if I can just grab him. I've got it. And it's fat. Let me just get the sling ready straight away. Whoa, that's a fat one. That's a good fish right there. <laughs> Bam! Let's put her back. Let's put her back. <laughs>